everyone, welcome back to From the Terraces. Today we are making our return to McDermott Park to watch St Johnston play Inverness in the playoff final. This is the second leg, so really it's one of the takes all match. Again, like against our broth, it has to be someone in front at full time. If not, it's extra time than penalties, so... Yeah, it's a really crucial game for Inverness's chances of being promoted back to the Premiership for the first time in five years. And crucial for St Johnston to win, to stay up in the Prem. As, as they have not been relegated. No, they haven't been in the Championship since about 2010. So... Yeah, I'll see you when we get there. back at McDermott Park got the whole programme for today's game we are were in this, this stand here last last time we were here I'd say we're in the north stand so yeah see when we get in there and we are now in the ground got about an hour to kick off but I think I might move further down there closer Hands over there, this whole section, all the way down there, it's gonna be filled up. So, right, I'll see you close to kickoff. <laughs> Teams aren't even, out, aren't even out for the first half yet, and Inverness fans are already in full swing. St. Johnson fans haven't turned up yet, but they will eventually. Yeah, I'll come back to you when the teams are out in the park for training, warm up. Teams are out warming up. Inverness is going to be playing the white and blue. St Johnston, I don't know what the home kit is, I forget now. I think it's also white and blue, but white and blue striped shirt and white shorts. So it's going to be an interesting colour clash. Inverness do have a pink third kit, but I don't know why they're not using it in this game. But I got 40 minutes till kickoff, so I'll see you then. Already got the already got the power out. Just died down now though, so St. Johnston fans are over there. So far haven't made much noise, but you know. They're audible but not loud. Everyone 
Inverness are in the white and blue. St. Johnston are in the blue. Fans are making a bit of noise, but you can't really hear it over over there. Nice fans. But the atmosphere is immense here. Personally, the nerves are already kicking in. The game hasn't even started yet. The St. Johnston are going to take the kick off. Somewhat died down. I was going to say, now the noise has somewhat died down, you can hear the Saints fans, but we picked up again. And there's the kick off. Absolutely deafening. I'll come back to you if anything happens. St. John still won a free kick. Come out and shoot, or he's going to whip in. 43rd minute, about two minutes till half time. Hopefully, it doesn't go to plan. Any messes. in a second. Then Johnston are back out for a second half. So the Saints fans have got a bit more you know, active it seems. But it's just really tense as it's done. I'm not waking it. Feels like I'm gonna burst into tears at any minute. And there's this right at me. And nothing's happened. It's only no nil. Oh, this is gonna be hell on earth. First half felt like it was going on for ages. Second half still to go. And if it stays level, it's like trying ten penalties again. I do not want to go through it. It's not fun. It's not a fun experience. There's Inverness back out for a second half.
false start apparently. Don't know how many times I've actually seen false start in football, but you know, there's what, and there's the actual kickoff. Come back to if anything happens. St Johnston have just scored. Really bad goal as well. Took a shot, powered off the keeper, came back right in front of Stevie May, who's just slotted at home. Really, really unfortunate. So that is St Johnston 1, Inverness 0. Got a lot of work to sip it, I know. A lot of work to put in now to come back. I want to be confident, but I can't say that I am. Because the one that scores first has the obvious advantage, but we've conceded first, so yeah. I'll see if anything else happens. St. Johnson scored a second. Really, really unfortunate. That's St. Johnston 2, Inverness 0. 4-2 on aggregate. Really not looking forward to this. Because Inverness have been the team on top for the entire first half, but I think again that was the same. That was the same on Friday night. St. Johnson were the team on top in the first half and then they just fell off the second. So it's just the same here. Away team on top in the first half and then second second half they just drop off and the home team takes charge. I'll come back to see if anything else happens. I think Johnston want a free kick out of the area. I think right on the corner. If they score here, it's gonna be all over. The free kick came to nothing. But I'm going to immediately on the counter attack. Got 20 minutes left on the clock. Something has to happen. And shot. shot. It's just getting passed away, nothing's getting worked in. Uh oh. Yeah, that's that. I'll come back to you if anything happens. Everyone else have won a crucial corner. Six to six minutes in. The ones back in this, so they need to score now. St. Johnson just got a third. It was always coming. Hey, we've just been really, really unfortunate. It's just, yeah. At the end of the day, I'm not. Oh my god, it'd be nice. It would have been nice to go up, but looking at teams in the championship next season. Is it probably an easy ish? We're definitely favourites um, to win the title next season if we went, well, not if we do stay down, it, when we stay down. But, really, the only contenders next season are really done days, so. It's 
not a huge loss at the end of the day. It would have been nice to go up, but... That's that. I'll come back to you towards full turn. Side shots have another. It's four now. Just having insult to injury here now, but... That's Sean Rooney as well. Oh god. Two minutes left on the clock. Unfortunate, but it was always coming. Because we've just been playing forwards. We're just disregarding the back line, trying to get someone to get back in the game, but now that it's 90th minute, there's no chance. No chance of coming back now anyway. Unless for some miracle we score four goals in four minutes. So. Never mind, there's only three minutes. Four goals in three minutes, it's fine, we got this. Oh, come back to you in a few. That's surely full time. Any minute now. MRS fans still behind the team though. It might be 4 0 down, but we're not staying quiet. And there it is, that's full time. In fairness, it was always going. Right, that's that. I'm calling here. Saints are staying in the Prem, MRS staying in the Championship, but we, we have a decent chance of winning. I'll see you. See you next week. Whenever I see you, probably after the summer.